Hi, and welcome to the eighth day of Christmas. This is Leslie McGay of Leslie McGay Hypnosis. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, stress distraction techniques. As we've talked about before, uh, 2020 has been an incredibly stressful year for many of us. December is also a very stressful time. It's even more stressful this year because of COVID, um, not being able to see our families. It's just been a really, really tough time for a lot of people. So being able to reduce the stress and the anxiety levels in any way that we can is just going to be a, a, a bonus for all of us. So distraction can be a really good way to fend off any sudden symptoms of stress or anxiety. This can um, allow you to just take a step back from the world and to take a more considered approach of the situation rather than a reactive uh, approach to the situation. Distraction can be simply likened to just taking your focus onto something else for a few moments. Uh, but it can also prevent any of that stress robbing you of your energy. Because let's face it, when we're stressed, it's exhausting. It's exhausting physically on our bodies and it's exhausting mentally. So um, just utilizing some of these techniques can just help to preserve your energy, help to release some of the stress symptoms. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a few uh, techniques. They're very simple techniques. They're free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you can do it in your own home. You can do it wherever you are at the time. Uh, so the first one would be visualization. Uh, a lot of people tell me that they're not good at visualizing. I'm not good at visualizing. That's perfectly fine. Use your imagination. We all have these very powerful imaginations that we were born with. It's still there. We used, as a, used it as a child, and it's still there. We just kind of lost touch with it uh, to a certain extent. So just bringing in that imagination or those visualization techniques that if you are able to visualize, but just imagine or visualize being in your favorite place. That might be your favorite holiday destination. It might be uh, somewhere that you really enjoy going for a walk. It could be a quiet spot in your home. But just take a couple of minutes, close your eyes, just imagine every aspect of that place. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like to be there? What does it smell like? Like bring in all your senses and really get in touch with that place. Um, bringing in the emotion makes it really, really powerful. So really feeling how it feels to be there and just again using that imagination uh, using the visualization if you're able to so another technique would be counting backwards from 200 by twos so again just take a moment close your eyes and start at 200 198 196 194 etc and just counting backwards if you forget where you're at, that's okay. Just pick up where you think you left off, just allowing your mind to wander wherever it chooses. But it's just, remember, this is just um, a way of distracting yourself and calming yourself down from that stressful situation. Uh, another um, technique would be just engage in an active activity. So for example, take yourself for a walk if you're able to. If you're able to go outside, even better. Just step outside, doesn't have to be long, just go out, five minute walk. That fresh, that fresh air is really invigorating and really can help us to calm our minds, calm our bodies. Um, do a creative activity, you know, maybe drawing or painting or something, but just engage in um, an activity for a short period of time to take you out of that stressful situation. These techniques are really great when you are um, kind of dealing with a stressful situation, but it's, you know, you're not in that heightened sense of stress or anxiety. Um, sometimes though, we forget to 
engage in one of these, these strategies to help to calm us. And then we get ourselves into a more heightened state of stress and anxiety. So a couple of techniques that would help in that situation. One of them is touch. Touch brings you back into your body. So what I would recommend is if you find yourself in a more heightened sense of stress, just touch, right? Very gently kind of massaging um, around your head, your, your forehead, behind your ears, down your neck, um, you know, just very gently kind of touching, um, rubbing your arms and just bringing the sensations back into your body. The physical touch will help to bring you back into your body. If that doesn't work, another great one is go to the freezer, get an ice cube, pull out an ice cube, take that really cold ice cube, run it on the back of your neck, um, run it on your wrists. The, the cold sensation will help to kind of bring you back into your body uh, so that you are able to then focus on the here and the now and let go of that situation. This is actually a great time of year if you don't want to go get an ice cube. Combine that um, active activity with going out into the cold. We're in the winter right now. It's um, not so much today, but you know we're in the minus temperatures um, at the moment. So really great thing to do might be to just step outside for a minute. Don't put your coat on. Well, you can if you want, but don't put your coat on. Step outside just for a minute. Feel that cold air on your body, on your face, breathing in the fresh air. And that will help to kind of, again, bring you back into your body, bring you back into focusing on the here and the now and help to relieve so that you can let go of that stressful situation. Once again, I hope that this has been beneficial for you. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the ninth day of Christmas. Please feel free to make comments in the comment section below. Uh, I want to thank people for the emails they've been sending me, um, the, the private messages and things related to these 12 days of Christmas. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your feedback. And as I say, please feel free to leave comments. Um, on any of the, the days that we've done so far, any of the days that are to come, or if there are things that you would like me to talk about um, in the remaining days of Christmas, I do have a list of, of things that I will be discussing uh, in the remaining days. But if there's something that you would like to hear me talk about, I'm more than happy to take a look at that and um, add that in or even just add it as a bonus afterwards. Okay. Have a great day, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.